<laughs> wow, you're so good at this. Uh, uh, <coughs> ow. I'm telling you guys, the snowball's alive. It's been pushing me on the swing. It like, told me a bedtime story and... It's alive. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are back here in a block borg. So for today's episode, I felt like I didn't want to really build a whole lot again, because lately, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been building tons and tons. I kind of want to break, but at the same time, I don't because I want to still work on things. So for today, we're going back in the city again. And I'm going to be building a bookstore and a park today. We're doing two things because they're pretty small builds. I'm going to have to leave you now, but uh, watch the house for me okay <laughs> what's wrong with me this is a really random like story going on right here gonna we're gonna be with this snowball until it goes to college okay <laughs> okay welcome to my city let's go on in so i was gonna do a video where i like cleaned up some of my buildings that i already have here but i figured why not just build i guess another new thing but we're gonna be building a small little bookstore right here it's gonna be great we're gonna put like lots of bookshelves that's why i decided to do two things today for the city video park i guess over here and then we'll have a school here. We'll have two more things there that I'll probably just mess around with off camera. I don't know. Once I'm done with all the buildings, I'm going through every single one of these again to add things to make it look cleaner, make it look better, especially this movie theater and especially this grocery store that I have. I'm missing a lot of stuff for this hospital. We need a doctor's office. We need some surgery rooms. Taking this floor, I'm making two surgery rooms, I guess. This is going to be the doctor's office. So uh, yeah, and then this floor will just be the patient's. I don't picture too many injured people in this place. You know, uh, there's probably even tons more things I'm probably missing from a hospital, but it is okay, guys. It's okay. So yeah, these are kind of like what some city bookstores look like, I guess. It's pretty interesting. We have this. This looks really pretty. Oh my gosh, this is my dream bookstore. <laughs> my dream bookstore. Oh, this is pretty too. Bookshop plus storytelling lab. We're going to actually make a blue bookstore because it is my city and it wouldn't be me if I didn't have something blue in it. Do I have something that's blue? I guess this food truck's kind of blue. I don't know. There's not a whole lot of blue. Slightly. How about we do this little curve in a little bit like that? So that was my plan in the first place. It was going to be a small store. And we're actually having it. The way it's shaped, it's kind of going to be roofed weird. Alright, so one of you guys told me in the last video that I could actually rotate the roofs. But it only works on the slanted roof. Let's say you want to make a roof like this, you know. You can actually rotate it. Like... I didn't know you could actually rotate the roofs, but it doesn't work on the gable roofs. And I was trying to talk how I could wish I wish I could rotate the gable roof in a way. Fun fact of the day, you can rotate the slanted roof. Crazy. Oh my gosh, just adding that to this city. Wow. If I take too much time on this, I'm not doing the park anymore. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna continue on with the, the bookstore only. Add these to it, it'll look even more like a bookstore. I think it looks like a bookstore. Wow. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. That that looks like a bookstore. That looks like a bookstore. I am I work at the library. Um meet me on Tuesdays. Would you like to have a cup of coffee? <laughs> but yeah. So look at the difference, okay? This is just one floor by itself. And if you stack three wooden floors on it, it looks like this. Look at that difference. It's so cool. Oh my god. What? It gets even darker. What? Okay. Okay, guys, I might take back what I said about making a park two in this video. I think I'm going to be spending a lot of time with this bookstore. Oh, I have a better idea. Why don't we just combine another apartment? Put another apartment above this and then have a bookstore at the bottom of it. I think that would sound a little bit more interesting. I just now thought of that because there's not enough space over here. So I think I'll put the stairs here. Oh my gosh. Wow. And it gives another city element to it. Pretty cool. So I think I'll put a bathroom right here. Maybe this area can be like a little bedroom or something. We could do that. Yeah, we'll have like kitchen, living room in this one spot. Maybe something dining. That is, that's actually a good idea. All right, with, I think that's our layout. Perfect. Oh, this kind of reminds me of jail. This reminds me of jail now. Some very spontaneous colored carpets now. Instead of just using gray and black all the time, which I kind of am right now. Hold on. I think I'm just going to decorate the apartment to however I want it. And then I'll be back with the bookstore because that's different. Pretty much put all the basic stuff you need in this apartment for now. So this is what the apartment looks like. We've got a... Uh, pretty decent it's pretty decent for what it is um but yeah it looks it looks pretty neat 
is the bedroom, of course. We've got the, the bathroom up here. So yeah, perfect place for the apartment area. I forgot I should add a laundromat somewhere here too because no one can really do their laundry in their house. So let's finally work on the uh, bookstore parts of the of the build because not only is it an apartment, yes, I wanted to put a bookstore here in the first place. It's gonna look kind of like a library. Do I even add a library to the school still if I have this? Because this is technically like... It kind of doubles as a bookstore slash library. Okay, I actually kind of want like a, a lounging area here too. So I'm gonna notice I'm gonna I'm gonna use them so much. It's not even funny anymore. I'm gonna Froggy did a great job designing all of like actually making these these items. Get a little coffee table going on right there. Oh my god! Oh, <gasps> this couch is so good. This couch is so good. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Oh yes, the geometric chandelier fits perfectly right here. <gasps> oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. I would hang out in this spot. I think this would be the place where I would chill. I'm even gonna put like a laptop out here. That's how dedicated I am to making this feel like a bookstore. Okay, so let's also get a place where we can check out the books as well. The lighting though in here, very nice, very nice. Like, should I just do this? Should I just put this everywhere? Who cares about what my walls actually look like? That- Okay, over here, we're gonna have actual, like, tables with books on it, with books all over it. And we'll just, uh, we'll line them up like this. I don't know how they exactly look. I would assume something like this. And then, wait, wait, we're gonna get a cake pan, okay? We're gonna get a cake pan. Quantum, quantum chromodynamic books everywhere, just, yep. On the outside doesn't look that great, but the inside looks wonderful right now. So this is my bookstore so far. It looks- it looks average. All your book needs are right here. Okay, yep, I'm completely not gonna- I'm not gonna be doing the park today. But we did two- we did two things technically today, which is what I would call accomplishment. And the last thing I'll do for this bookstore for now is to add some beam place. This- the roof is a bit basic and we need- I'm gonna use large grid because I can't- I'm very bad at this, believe it or not. I'm bad at putting stuff on my ceiling. So I need large grid and get all the help I can get. Is that good? Is that okay? It's straight, right? It's, it's straight going straight. Sometimes my beams don't go straight and they go all over the place. Okay, it's not that hard, right? It shouldn't be that difficult. Where did it go? What? It's so tough. How do people do this? Oh my God, they're going through. Oh my God, the beams are going through my floor. I will not do the beams anymore. I am done for now. Okay, guys, after how long has it been? It's been an hour. Let's finally go check out our bookstore slash apartment, guys. So the beams were going through my floor, so I deleted them because I just don't know how to do it very well or efficiently. But if you walk down the city now, we have another building right in between the hospital and the movie theater. So this is our local bookstore. It actually does look like a bookstore. I need to fix a lot though. I, there's so much more to fix about this. <laughs> This is a lot. There's a lot of work. Oh my god. I feel like this is, this is a pattern now with every build I put in the city. I just need to fix it. Yeah, we have our bookstore and let's go to the actual bookstore first. So this here is, uh, right here is your little hangout area. This is where you would chill and sit and read your books and stuff or, I don't know, in addition to it just being a bookstore, this is like your local hangout spot. So if you want to chill and vibe, I would imagine you would sit here and just read a book. Maybe listen to some music, maybe work on some stuff for school and whatnot. Wow, and I love it. It's my favorite part about this build. And then you got all your books and stuff. Uh, we need to stock up on it because I was, I just put the bookshelves down, but I, I didn't realize I need to stock it up a lot more. And you have some like more displays over here and you have your actual uh, checkout area, your cashier place customer person simple 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 bookstore and it doubles as an apartment too above so if we go up the stairs here this is another place where a person could live and right now it's just really basic decorating at the moment yeah this is kind of like the idea of the apartment above the bookstore so this was really cool i've always wanted to do something like this as well here's the bathroom got all you need and this is your bedroom area as well oh my gosh even the wooden beams go through this floor great i have so much to do but yeah, gonna be polishing this up, gonna be polishing up the bookstore, and that is pretty much it for this build. This is the first time I've done like 
two builds, I guess, in one. So this is good. We'll do the park another time or I'll just do it off camera. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, you found it inspiring, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. I will see you guys tomorrow because I post almost every day. So yeah, have a wonderful day. Peter Bread signing out. Goodbye, everybody.